What is going on YouTube? Lex Express checking in with a big Blu-ray update. Now here we have Romancing the Stone starring Michael Douglas. Now I picked this movie up because straight up I just like it a lot. I saw it on Netflix one time because I'm a big Michael Douglas fan. You know, liked him in Wall Street, liked him in the game, and he's a great actor. So I, you know, basically went in with my eyes closed and I watched this film and I was surprised that it was such a good adventure, family friendly film and it is very, very enjoyable. So if you guys like Michael Douglas and old movies, pick it up. Now here we have a chick flick called Just My Luck starring Lindsay Lohan and Chris Pine before Chris Pine was anybody in Hollywood. Now this movie I do not recommend it because although I do have it, it was a blind buy and it was somewhat enjoyable but it was just too fake. It was about Lindsay Lohan having too much luck and passing it on to Chris Pine and then Chris Pine passing it on back to her. With that being said, it's not that much of a memorable movie. Now moving forward we have Before and After starring one of my favorite actors in Hollywood right now Liam Neeson and Meryl Streep. Now this is a movie about uh, Liam Neeson's son uh, you know technically accidentally killing someone and being charged for it and Liam Neeson going to the end of the world basically to protect him. Now here we have Shallow House starring Jack Black and Gwyneth Paltrow. Now this is one of my favorite all-time comedies as you guys see here. Gwyneth Paltrow stars as you know the fat girl who Jack Black sees skinny and um, basically it's a very very funny comedy where Jack Black is so shallow that someone has to hypnotize him for him to see all the fat sweet girls uh, very lovely and skinny you know attractive. So yeah, here's Shallow Hell. Pretty good movie. Now on to Holy Man, a movie that not a lot of people know about, but it is starring Eddie Murphy and uh, Jeff Gold Goldblum, yeah, from Jurassic Park. Now this movie is a comedy, and uh, Eddie Murphy stars as G, and you know he's supposedly God or something like that and he comes down to help Jeff Goldblum and it's just a very outrageous comedy now here we have two films that came out in the recent months called Sherlock Holmes a Game of Shadows and Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance now first we're gonna unbox Sherlock Holmes as you guys see here it's with Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law and here we have Nicolas Cage in Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance which is the sequel to Ghost Rider the one that came out in 06 I believe so yeah, let's move on to Sherlock Holmes. Now Sherlock Holmes is a movie that, you know, everyone gets confused with when they watch it. Nobody understands what the hell's going on because the dialogue is so smart and witty that you just can't miss a step to catch the story and the plot, you know, basically how things unfold. But uh I am that kind of movie goer that enjoys, you know, basically being messed with and not understanding what's going on to then and one final moment realize what really is going on and that's the kind of movie Sherlock Holmes is it's a very very smart movie and very well made to the point that it's just enjoyable all around with the action the acting and everything from uh, you know the soundtrack to the basically the set you know this movie is so well done Warner Brothers does a tremendous job with Sherlock Holmes and I'm very glad that they're trying to make this a trilogy or a long series. And I'm very glad that Robert Downey Jr. is the main actor because he's so charismatic in it. And it's such a great film to watch and very, very enjoyable. Now, this is the second one. It's a sequel to the first Sherlock Holmes that came out a couple of years back, which I also enjoyed a lot. So, yeah, here it is. Pretty plain. The Blu-ray disc, you know, Warner Brothers releases it with the black and, you know, the nice font. So, you know, Sherlock Holmes, pretty good film. And now on to a film that everyone trashed and bashed, Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. Here it is. So, yeah, this is a Best Buy exclusive. It's the Blu-ray 3D version, and it comes with, you know, a lot of behind-the-scenes extras. It's uh, basically an add-on to the actual combo pack that is in my hand right here. So yeah, pretty nice lenticular cover. Look at the back. The world's darkest hero rides again. Now, Nicolas Cage is known for making over-the-top films in the last, you know, decade. He hasn't done a very enjoyable, noticeable film. But then again, I am a die-hard Nicolas Cage fan from the 90s. You know, he did Con Air, Face Off. You know, he's a great actor. And he showed that he's a phenomenal actor when he wants to be. But, you know, I don't know if it's because he's in debt or whatever the reason may be. He's picking a lot of movies that are garbage and are not good. And Ghost Rider, I'd like to say that it's not one of them because I love the character Ghost Rider itself. You know, I love the fact that Sony was behind in making a uh, Ghost Rider now they did this sequel Spirit of Vengeance with a low budget 
and they turned it into a 3D film to try to gain all the losses from part one and basically you know it flopped in the box office because a lot of people dislike Nicolas Cage at this day and age and a lot of people dislike the first Ghost Rider now me being a diehard Marvel fan really enjoyed this film this film is one of those movies you gotta go in with your brain at the door and you know just forget about anything that makes sense in cinema and just enjoy and watch it and you know basically just love the 3D so yeah you know not much I can say about Ghost Rider but Sherlock Holmes is a great film if you guys can pick it up if you haven't watched it yet now for my final unboxing and final movie and this big update it's Wrath of the Titans 3D now this is the Best Buy exclusive 3D steelbook and I must tell you this movie I don't know if many people did like it I know the first one a lot of people hated it because it wasn't better than the remake according to you know uh, a lot of people out there on YouTube and the community and the reviewers and critics and all that. But, you know, to please me in a film that I know that you got to leave your brain at the door, it's not much. It just has to have good action and somewhat of a good story. Now, this movie stars Sam Worthington, Liam Neeson, and a bunch of other people that I can't name right now, but it's a great cast. And let me tell you, the special effects are very well made. It's about the gods, you know, basically battling with Hades and stuff like that. Hades trying to take over with their father. And, you know, just a great, great movie uh, when it comes to action. You know, the action, you feel like you're there. The 3D is immersive. It's very detailed and in-depth, just the way I like it. Sam Worthington is a great actor, according to me. I know he's not, you know, the best actor ever. But, you know, it is what it is. He does great in Wrath of the Times, Titans, Clash of the Titans, Terminator Salvation. He's a good actor. You know, I enjoy him. He's an enjoyable actor. And that's what this movie is, an enjoyable film that you could just sit back and enjoy the action. Now, this is a 3D set. It comes with the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, and DVD. So, yeah, YouTube. I mean, I really don't know what to tell you about all these films. They're just enjoyable films that I like to have and wanted to add to my collection. Aside from Just My Luck with Lindsay Lohan, that was just a basically clueless blind buy that i wish i never did but you know it was only six bucks so just to have another movie i'll keep it i do not want to sell it because it's worthless but yeah wrath of the titans here it is thanks for watching lex express checking in checking out